Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Empire Total War campaign, playing as the Dutch. And we're just about to finish off this small army here. It's generaled by Wolfgang Stupnagel. We've got Andres van Imhoff. He's pretty much him sorted out. I think we're heading towards Lvov, I think, to try and destroy the Austrians. Um, we've kind of got ourselves into a bad diplomatic situation here. We're at war with quite a number of countries, which is really against my style. I normally like to only be at war with one or two at the most. <laughs> Try to blitz the, the particular countries and then move on to the next set of enemies. But I seem to have got myself into a, a bit of a fix here. I think it all began three or four episodes ago when I attacked Louisiana without really preparing properly for it in the New World, and that really set me back. We're now in a bit of trouble, actually, I think, in um, the Caribbean area. Okay, well, let's, let's put this artillery piece there. And we're going to... I don't normally stick my artillery in the centre, but because these are howitzers, they can't use... Um, what's the word? Shrapnel. They can't use canister, rather, which means that... They're really kind of like quite ineffective as infantry cutting weapons close up. They're very, very good at range. In fact, they're probably the best at destroying a unit. You've got four or five rounds of those on a on an infantry regiment and they pretty much are, are not interested anymore. Um, it's not a particularly good place to deploy actually here, but we, we outnumber the guy very, very, very much. Um, don't need to do anything too clever here. Okay, so we're going to move a bit further forwards. Move these guys here. Okay, let's have a look and see. Let's start hitting them with the carcass. Start hitting them with my main artillery. This is what I mean about if you can hit these guys. They're pretty much done for, to be honest. One unit of cavalry coming through. Oh, I think we'll just counter charge, to be honest. Um, got some provincial cavalry coming through. Uh, let's get the next round through. This will just die this unit. 14 guys. We're actually not going to... I say we're not going to bother to... We'll just give this guy. Right, killed his general. We get him one. We're just getting one at a time. Sorry, one volley at a time. I'm not being very clear, am I? <laughs> one volley at a time, and then we're going in square. Uh, they're gone. They're done for. That's. I can maybe concentrate my fire on these guys. They'll go volley next. Cavalry should be gone by now. Not quite. We're still fighting. Winning slightly. That's interesting. I don't think they are. Let's continue to fire. There we go. That's better. Out of square. Now we're going to... I think maybe we'll move up here. We don't want really to take any unnecessary volleys. Let's go for this. They're wavering. They're steady, those guys. Let's see. Don't like to see steady troops. The Ghoulie Regiment. They're broken. Right, let's get after these guys. We're going to turn off our artillery once they get the next, the next lot in. Are they forming square or something ridiculous? Right, let's... Let's turn off all my artillery by actually limbering it up. We're not going to bother about those nine. Let's continue and I will speed things up for you. We don't need to head towards the fences so we'll have to be quite careful. Um, let's turn off fire by rank. Oh you bugger. Come on, come back, come back, come back. He ran onto his fences, didn't he? Clever guy. 
he was going to run straight through his fences so we would have lost like hundreds of cavalry okay this way we shouldn't lose any you can't stop don't just stop get on with it not killed them all yet Okay, let's try this, these 14 guys, it's often the most tedious part of the game, <laughs> trying to, why are we still firing, who's still firing, who the hell is still firing, enemy general killed, there we go, Wolfgang didn't last too long, that's maybe the end of it, Maybe not. Got one unit there. Come on. Get him. Three guys. Anytime you're ready. Uh, something weird's happening here. They're just marching on the spot. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Galloping on the spot. That was very strange. Go on, get on with it. I think probably of, of anything they could improve in this game, if they revisited it, it would be the way in which units were chased down after the they break formation. If they could improve the AI route, what's the word, path finding, not route finding. Um, I think these cavalry are just not, they're just not moving. Come on, everyone. Oh, we're going to chase him off. He's escaped. And they stopped again. Okay, close victory, I don't think so. Okay, so it's gonna be a chance to now have a look around and see what I was actually doing. It's about a week or so since I've played this game. So I need to kind of review what's going on. Oh we lost eleven men. Good lord. We need to replenish this army. Yeah, I'm sure that's what I was doing. This is their last territory, I believe. Indeed it is. This is last territory of the Austrians, so if we can force our way through here. Um, I'll just show you what's happening diplomatically. We're at war with lots of people. Far too many, to be honest, to thought I would like to be a, a nice, simple campaign. Um, I think Austria has one territory left, which is this one here we're heading for. Genoa, who we're attacking also, only has one territory left, I believe. I think it's Transylvania. Can't find it now. Genoa, there we go. Transylvania. Um, so if we can get those two, that'll kill them off. Um, the main, again, a big worry is that our actual allies don't really like us that much. Great Britain's indifferent to us, and there we've got all our armies on this eastern front. Great Britain and Sweden are kind of directly behind us, and they don't really like us that much. 23 and 18 that's not those are not good figures um, anyway I say we've, we're pushing ahead here um, we're pushing into Russia we've taken out these two territories replenishing here and replenishing here so we need to come up and take this guy out um, what has he got in here building a nice port for us not too much for us to worry about we've got this rather good navy here this ship here is sort of sailing in plain view hoping that they'll come out and this army this fleet can then support the, the battle sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't that's pretty much safe gotta watch this little stack here what have we got here a couple of guys a general and a cossack unit you might come out and kill them I'll come back to that. We'll possibly do that. The major battles have been round here in Hungary, to be honest, around this area. Um, this army is heading down here. And as you can see, we've got pretty good intelligence about what's going on around here. There's not really much to stop us grabbing Belgrade as well. Um, we're at war with the Turks. Um, our fleet in the Eastern Med is going around destroying all their, just speed things up, destroying all their trading ports. We're damaging everything that we can. Yeah, 
as, as much as we can we're trying to damage their stuff so they can't build any ships Savoy our ally has got Jerusalem which is very handy for us actually um, yeah we're causing them real problems to be honest let's go around and destroy a bit more um, I always like them to repair because then we can go around and destroy them again it's always a handy thing to do, not to sit in the port, because you'll only move a troop in, drive you out. Oh yes, Venice is an ally in this. They're real echoes, uh, if anyone's following my Prussian campaign, <laughs> there are real echoes of the campaigns around here. Sometimes I get a bit confused. I normally play the Prussian campaign just before I play this one. Um, I think we were sitting here waiting for them to attack us actually on the bridge, but they're not going to do that, I don't think. These stacks are all been fought before, I think, and suffered damage at our hands. Um, we really need to move in. We've got some of these stacks are still repairing, actually. Yeah, very much so, very much the case. Yeah, so it's going to be a turn. We can't really do very much there. Got some more reinforcements coming down. Are we actually building any? I don't think we are, actually we kind of run out of money. Uh, it's a little bit worrying, the Swedish there. We've got another, do we have another fleet down here? No, I don't think so. don't think so. so we've got the fleet in the Eastern Med. I uh, don't think we're building anything, are we? No. No, we're not, unfortunately. Oh, there's a guy coming across here, all the way over to here. Right, okay, it's a little bit worrying, rather a lot of Venetian troops all around my territory. That could be a bit awkward if they decide to attack us and join the fun against us. Oh yeah, because I think I was kind of like hoping they were going to come forward and attack us on the bridge. So, so Europe is kind of like wound up. There's not much more we're going to do there. I'm sure here we were doing lots of recruiting because um, we're at war and we need to finish things off in this territory. Um, I think we're recruiting all over the place here actually. We have a fleet here. Oh yes, that's right. It's just arrived. I'm going to try and take out some of their ships. Again, Venice has got a stack on board here. That's a little bit troublesome maybe to us. Yep. So I think we're at the end turn. To be honest, I don't think there's anything else I, I want to do. Um, Sure, I've done all the recruitment that I can of decent troops. I don't want um, militia. Yeah, I'm sure I had. Yep. I say we've got plenty of ships now to move these guys about. Okay, so we're just going to end our turn. We must have been close to the end turn actually at the end of the last episode. I don't know why I didn't end the turn to be honest. Oh, they're stealing information off of us. We need to start, I say, knocking down some of these people that we're at war with. We can't. Uh, really? I don't think they're actually any danger to us, are they? I think they're up near the British. I think we're gonna, gonna make a counter offer. We'll give them some. Uh, we'll give them that. Okay, well, I think that we're not actually bordering them, so we don't need to worry too much about them, and they don't tend to make seaborne invasions, the Native American troops. Okay, that's fine. So the Louisiana fleet didn't move actually at all. Is that really a new port? Okay, no, I think it must be here, must not it? Uh, fishing fleet, we're going to stop that because there's no there's no actual commerce coming out of that we'll just make a fishing fleet there so he's thrown stack there but there is there a fortress around here I think there is isn't there the fortress here that we might be able to move into right I think that's probably the army that came down here isn't it right let's go out to here first we're at war with the um, Pueblo Nations and they own two territories, so we're not going to be able to get a knockout blow against these guys. We need to keep building up our army. Let's 
three guys going there. We need to get our ships to gather all the guys up. What do we got here? That's not our fleet. That's better. <laughs> that was a bit worrying for a moment. Um, okay, so we're going to in one ship. We're going to use... We've got another ship we can use. We can't, is there? Oh, this guy could... No, that's a... Oh, this guy could maybe go around and collect a few guys. We could start him off anyway. Let's use this guy. Got these guys. Put them on board. Where's the next lot of troops are recruited? We haven't recruited any guys here. Uh, none down here, I don't think. Nope, because I think we could only recruit um, Native American troops, etc., which are not not fantastic. Bowmen are pretty good, actually. It's just it's just not my style of playing, to be honest. Too sneaky, very underhand. Right, let's move these guys on board. See, it's starting to build up the army. Um, this is actually a really good territory, to be honest. What we're looking at here, we're going to fight a naval battle in a moment. Um, what have we got here? Maybe we'll put out a colonial militia, just so it can force these guys out and capture them. I think that's what we should do. We can have certainly afford one colonial militia. Um, Say so this is a bit worrying. It's enough to take a, a territory. Okay, where else have I got? Did I propagate troops? Okie dok. So we need to try and get those troops. Where are they actually heading? After all that, I think I think they were heading over towards. Yeah, I think we were heading them over towards this territory here, Mexico. Because Mexico is very very rich. Four six four one. Uh, just give you kind of views. Eight hundred and fourteen. Five oh five. Two three four. Uh, again, New Granada is very good. But you can see the territories in North America by far. Oh, Dutch Guiana is pretty good. By far, we're talking Mexico is the main territory for, for money. So we definitely need to get troops over there to defend it. Um, which means this navy needs to move guys. Where's a port that we can get them to? That's their port. We'll get them to here. <clears throat> so we've got, and we take them out. out here. Right, so what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and we've got six in... Hmm. Yes. I thought I brought a f an army over here, actually. Didn't I, didn't I bring an army over? No army there. I thought I'd brought an army over with me. Perhaps I didn't. Perhaps I didn't. Where is it? If I if I did. Oh no, I did. I did bring an army over. But it's here. So let's see if they'll use to surrender. So we're gonna That's not a bad army. We're going to besiege it. Three turns. We certainly have all three turns because we're still actually reorganizing after the onslaught of the um those guys. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to come down here, take out this these guys, that will release this ship to come up and grab these guys, move them a bit closer to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm loath to build a general here. We'll build it over in Mexico. Seven guys coming over. That's two up here. That's nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. I think we can actually develop that port. What I was just saying about Mexico being such a rich territory. I think we shall. Right. So besieging here. Are we okay here? I think we can probably afford to repair that port as well, actually. I think this army is replenished. But we do have... Um, mm, I don't know. I think maybe we can take a chance. We're at war with the Cherokees. They could come across this down. I think we're going to have to defend. I can't take a chance, to be honest. We'll need to sort things out with these territories down here. Cuba. And move this army up from Mexico to attack here. We're going to need to give that army some cavalry, which we're going to give them from this army, because it's a bit top heavy on cavalry, at least four cavalry, maybe five actually, to deal with the Indians. Cavalry are key to, to dealing with the Native Americans. And uh, we may well lose this territory if we take it. We've given that over to Great Britain. The Cherokees, I think, are at war with Great Britain, pretty certain. Nope, they're not. I lied. Yes, they are. Okay. That's weird. Their flag looks completely different to their country colour. Anyway. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> rabbiting on here. Okay. So here we are ready to attack. Just recap what's happening over here. We're now defending our ports properly. So we had a bit of a problem here. One one ship from the Ottoman Empire come and destroyed like four, about 10,000 in trade over about two turns before we can force them out. Okay, well, I say we're gonna we're gonna concentrate on North America this turn, this episode. I mean, so we'll be fighting. What battle will we be fighting? We fight this naval battle first. If I can get hold of these ships, there we go. Let's come down here and attack. Now uh, let's just go for it. Some nice ships there. It'll be handy if we can capture as many as we possibly can. I'm only going to have two squadrons here. And we'll try and capture them between the two lines of ships. We don't want too many long lines of ships because we want the ships all to arrive at the same point of contact. We don't want great big, like 10, 10 ships long, line astern. That's not good. And we're going to have... Um, we're all going to be governed by the speed of the slower ship. We don't have the... which is going to be the um, 84 gun second... Second Raiders. Okay, that's uh, we don't have the weather gauge, but neither do they, so that's fine. That's not a problem. So we need to. I'm going to fast forward to point, point of contact. Uh, so this is um, it's quite a nice little fleet here. We've got. I think some of their ships are damaged. I think further, yes, indeed, not not terrifically damaged, but obviously against the second rate, they're not gonna they're not gonna last too long. The hulls are very very strong on second rate ships. We need to go this way actually. Pick up the wind, come up alongside them. Um, going down the line this way does have some benefits. You'd then be able to turn across the stern of their line. They're in a, a line of stern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think is it eight? Eight ships they've got. And then you go along the stern and then obviously you're in a position then to try and cut them off if they then run away. But this way, in theory, you're going to be able to concentrate your fire on the front ship is what we shall aim to do. Um, he definitely is more manoeuvrable than we are, but we have the we have the power. It's like a heavyweight against maybe a, a middleweight. I 
need to get a bit closer actually this this, this squadron here so we're taking a few hits I mean, he's fired at us but he's not done any damage whatsoever we're be on a line of convergence with him there's the first of our our broadsides going in I'm gonna come back to normal speed the only problem is he may be able to run away from us which is what obviously I don't want to do so I'm gonna have to break out these fifth rates if we could as soon as we can so we're starting to get to maybe getting our ships on a two to one basis for him attacking him can we have to get another another broadside in soon lost one man he's a bit unlucky he's lost two men now you can only really deal deal a lot of damage when you're getting really close so that's that's really our aim we need to in fact I may even let the ship go we may actually just concentrate on this first one we're gonna take the losses and, and do that we're not going to try and run parallel with this line of ships. We're just going to get, get in as, as close as we can and maybe cut the ship off from these two. Sorry, these two ships off from this one. Starting to do some damage now. Our Admiral is here, I think. Where's our Admiral? It's this guy. Yeah. It's on the Via. So he's in a pretty safe position. Now we're starting to maybe go around a bit more. I'm going to start taking control of these ships now. Let's um, see if we can get concentration of fire on them. Now we've got them to the point of contact. I'm considering going across the stern of this guy, but We're nicely, nicely poised actually. Let's see if we can get this guy, get a broadside in. Are we on fire? We're on fire, so we need to stop firing, get the fire under control. try and cut off this guy if we can. Need this fifth rate to keep going. Get this guy to keep going downwind. Could maybe try... I think we've got things under control now. We're not on fire anymore. So if we can turn across their stern and give him a rake him from stem to stern rake him from stem to stern that would be very nice if we could do that doing a lot of damage kind of a bit stuck I think we've actually got our bow sprit stuck into his um, Yeah, now we should be out of turn now. Perhaps not. We've got no hull damage at all, by the way. <laughs> the, the ships are just so strong with their hulls. Fifth rate. Fifth rate. And then he's got a Z back at the end, which is obviously not going to last too long. Need to go downwind, because I think he's going to run. So, as soon as he gets a chance. I'll keep going. He's starting to go. I'm going to head downwind because once the, these 84 gunships do not move fast, they, that's one of their main things I would say that's a problem. We're going to head around this way. We've managed to stop the progress of these, these ships. Uh, around here. Really, is he losing? This guy, we're going to. He's gone, he's surrendered on fire, so we need to basically get out of the way of this guy. Because we could lose two ships here. I'm going to try and see if we can get a 
No, I'm not. I'm going to go long. I was going to see if I could get across this stern of this guy. But I don't think we need to, to be honest. This guy needs to get away as soon as possible. If he can. Okay, that's fine. Surrendered. Surrendered. Alright, this guy needs to go around here. Taking rather a lot of losses here. Let's go here. Go here. Go around. Uh, we're going to swing about. This guy's going to go down here. Has he surrendered yet? He surrendered on fire, so we need to say pull out of this. That'll take a while, but we can't afford to go around the other way because we'll get too close to that ship that's on fire. Uh, oof, we're taking a lot of hits here with this guy. That's We need to come back and deal with these guys, basically. This fifth rate's fine, we're going to be able to cut across this guy's stern and across this guy's stern. Let's get these guys to... Yeah, trying to chase down a, a fifth rate with a second rate is not a good idea, to be honest. Are we sinking? We could well be sinking, I think. I think we're going to anchor. He's wavering. We need to come about. We need to go down here. So I see three ships we nearly really need to deal with. We're anchored, but we may still well. Oh, he's routing, so we haven't anchored. So this ship maybe I've anchored. Let's go, 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 go. We need to downwind let's anchor so we don't sink I hope this guy needs to try and maybe chain shot them if we can getting close give them a chain shot try and take out their sails or we're not going to catch them actually Actually, this guy's going to show his stern pretty good soon. Okay, I think it's going okay. Um, why is this guy not anchored? Why can I not anchor him? Is it because he's running away? He's running away, so he could actually run himself into a problem here if he, if he sinks. Right, around this way. Right, come on, chain shot, chain shot. Cross his stern. Take out his sails. I'm going to need to chain shot them simply because my ships won't catch them. These two second rates will not be able to catch them at all. So I'm going to have to take possible hull damage just so that we can chain shot the guys. go long. So we need to slow them up basically. Back to round shot, now we're out of range. Let's go to chain shot here. Chain shot here. Uh, we'll just sink the ship. I'm not really bothered about um, capturing it. I don't want it to escape, obviously, but um, it's more important we simply destroy the thing. Okay, he's sinking, that's good. Oh, well, not good really, but um, <laughs> better than him escaping. It's a choice between the two. Go back to... No, actually, we're going to go back to round shot. You can see his sails have been seriously affected. That's this guy is firing round shot. This ship, so he should go shortly. There we go. He's losing his sails, etc. That's a weird thing about Zebex. They always seem to lose their sails. Let's see if we can take out the rest of his 
is sales. That would be handy if we could do that anytime now. Got a really good shot here. Let's go back to round shot. Oh, we killed the general now, so he's liable to route and try and run, which is not good. Do we lose a ship? I think we may. Yes, we lost a ship that we're trying to save. Okay, he's running, so we really need to put a spurt on. And we really need to. Let's continue. You need to definitely try and take out your sails. You could do with a main mast or something. One mast, any mast would do. I'm not. I'm not fussy. Perhaps we'll get a lucky round shot. We're still giving them round shot at the moment. Come on, get lucky. Sure, we can quite reach with them. This is the guy. It's the guy who's going to catch him if anyone can. This is a fifth rate. This is a fifth rate. We need to really go as fast as possible. We're not going to get many more. He's actually his sails are pretty much shot anyway. To be honest, and we've got four four sails. He may be able to continue to get some hits on this guy. There we go. Right, so I think we lost a ship, basically, which is always sad. I always like to win my naval battles without losing any ships if I can. Um, so we captured one, two, three, four, five. Let's add them. Okay, and I think we were gonna we we're gonna use this ship to come up here. Here we'll just in and uh, whoa what happened there what happened there did I not actually add them to my fleet perhaps I didn't oh well I got the money I suppose <laughs> that was a bit of a, a misclick that's um okay well we're gonna we're gonna take out these guys in here we've got another fifth rate there and these these three will go for trading um, that was a mistake I, I really yeah I should, really should have taken those ships on anyway we've got the money for them it's time, isn't it, with ships when you're building them? That's that's the problem. It's not anything else other than time. Let's move this guy to a port if we can get to one. Which we cannot at the moment, so move him out. Move him in. Put the buyers guys on. There we go. Now can we reach Mexico? I doubt it, to be honest. We might be able to. Might be able to sort of get to here. Let's get to here, and then obviously we're not far from this port now. Feel happier about that. To be honest, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven guys coming uh, to join in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, okay, that's a lot, I'm a lot happy about that. Plus these two guys up here will go and collect using this fleet. Okay, uh, let's move this guy in here. Gosh, that's really annoying. Went to all that trouble to try and get those guys. There's five or six of them, and I think I took the money. I'm sure that's what I did. I didn't do anything. It wasn't that I didn't do anything. It wasn't a program glitch as far as I'm aware. It's, um, well, we're building one unit here that will chase these guys out. I think they can, actually. I think the way I have to do it is actually blockade these guys in and bring the army down. That's the way it works. Okay, well, let's deal with that. Dealt with this. I'm sure we have. Blockade runner. Local knowledge, recruitment, that's no, ah, I know where I've got to go, seeing that army in Salon. Bang, let's just get this out. Uh, obviously, one unit is not going to be able to defend the whole of Salon, but the point is I don't want to be able to land and then move troops ashore straight away. That's what I don't want to happen. Um, we do need to send an army out to here at some stage. I don't want to lose Salon. It will probably be one of the armies in... 
North America, almost certainly. We shan't need three armies once we've actually destroyed the Peblos and we're moving north. Two armies should be enough to, to deal with Louisiana and the Cherokee nations. I would hope two would be enough. Uh, let's take Cuba back. Right, let's have a look and see. I think we're going to leave that for a turn, actually. It's only three turns. Continue the siege. We're still beleaguering. Um, Okay, let's have a look and see. Can we spam out some infantry? I, I really feel I need some more guys, to be honest. Um, what can we build? What can we build? I, I don't think there's any more. There's no more really specialist troops that we can build, to be honest. No. Oh, we can build heavy heavy cavalry. Let's get some heavy cavalry. And let's. Get some infantry. Oops, building artillery. Well, it doesn't matter. I need artillery as well. Now we've got some infantry here. Oh, so do not want sankers. Okay. Okay, I'm a lot happier about that. Okay, that's nearly all of our money gone. Um, I think we'll end our turn. Don't think there's anything else I was doing, was there? I don't think on the fleet side of things. No, I'm sure there wasn't. We're not going to build another fleet. We've got that fleet out in. Um, Caribbean. I think we're gonna. We are going to move into that fortress. Okay, I'm happier about that. Okay, so I think we want to move on and besiege these guys. Oop. Three. Six. So they've got four thousand against three thousand. Well, they they're not gonna. No, we'll continue the siege. Where's the other army then? I really can't see where it is, to be honest. Okay, Russian army seem to have lots of troops. That's the first thing I've noticed. We're still actually replenishing here. So it's going to be it is going to be another turn before we can can go for it. Should have all of these troops up to strength by then. Um, we're going to reposition slightly. I, think I need maybe a couple of armies here on this front. That looks better to me already. Um, yeah, I think as I said before, I'm going to kind of like this is going to be the attritional front sort of like this area here and we're going to try and swing around and do the clever stuff here we're going to swing around from the north um, we've got wide open territories here once this territory is gone we'll be able to move out of Warsaw and head towards Belarus and again Vilnius we'll be able to move out of there towards Kiev and Moscow so we're going to try and do the clever stuff over here in this area if we can uh, and the sort of tight kind of attritional stuff is going to go on over here against the Turks. Uh, we're just going to hold hold the Turks back if we can. We can't do very much more than that. I'd like to do something really strategic and maybe like land in land here or something, land an army here and take out take out this territory, which would cause a lot of problems for them. Um, and it, we may be able to do that. We may be able to do that. I think it just causes strategic problems for them. We are, this is a difficult campaign to be honest, because we've got, you know, we've got the Genoa, the old Genoa's. Um No, what am I talking about? We've got the Venetians, I mean, you know, they may not be at, at peace for very much longer, and we've very much left them to their own devices. We've not really sort of got any covering armies. We've got the Swedes, although allied, don't really like us very much. Same with the British, they don't really like us very much. Not keen on the, all the expansion we were doing. Um, so you can see from the from the map, 
where they're green. It's not good. So say the plan will be hold here and swing round here. That's the idea. And maybe hold across here. Get to maybe a couple of territories here when we get to Persia who like us. We'll be able to hold hold this territory here, maybe Georgia. And then maybe swing round through the rest of Turkey, the Turkish territories. Got a nice good bulwark here, the Persians. I don't think the Persians are allied to the they normally are allied to the Mughals actually, to be honest, but indeed they are, so they may not be that much of a bulwark to be honest. We'll have to see anyway. Right, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to end my turn there. We're certainly not going to fight this here, this battle here at the moment. We're gonna let that roll. Um let that siege run. We want to move up towards here. That's fine. So we're obviously going to take out St. Petersburg, force this navy out, capture the ships. Then we'll head down towards uh, Moscow. And then we'll, as we head towards Moscow, we'll force our way through towards Belarus and Minsk. Um, a little bit worried about those, those units, but I think we're going to come out and take them out. I think I'm going to reinforce this army down here, actually. Can we move out? We can, actually. I'm surprised. We're not going to get ambushed, because I think the Russian army must be round here somewhere. So, so this is a much more doable thing now, I think. Yeah. We're going to recruit some troops here. And some in Prussia. Although we can't do any in Prussia, because we run out of money. Um, okay, we're going to hold fire here. So bridge, fortress, fortress, city. Uh, we've got these three armies behind that are building up, plus all the troops we're building. Yep, quite happy with that. Okay, well I think what I'll do, I will end turn and we'll see what the AI does. Um, see what it offers. This guy's still moving east, isn't he? Okay. Yeah, I haven't left any fleets around, have I? No, that I'm not dealing with. I've got this fleet down here that I could try and attack all their ports again, which I'm going to do, I think, right in the turn. Let's just go back and do some really serious damage to them. Because we should be talking almost total total losses for some of these ports now. Yeah, that's a total write-off. Yeah, he's not even bothering to try and repair these things now, to be honest. That's gone completely. That's gone completely. Now, let's see if we can get down to... Can't do anything here, because that port's actually... Move down here. Okay, that's fine. How many of these troops were saying that? Gosh, there's a huge number of troops coming up here. There's about a stack and a half coming up there. We've got two stacks heading towards this artillery fort. And three stacks maybe heading for this artillery fort. That's going to be interesting. I said this is going to be like the Western Front, I think. There'll be very much kind of attritional stuff going on. Um, we've got them here, I think. As soon as we're actually up to strength, we'll, we'll push two armies across to take out this stack and that stack. This one and that one. And we should try and destroy the Genoese. Well, actually saying that, if we can win this battle, that's the end of the Austrians, so that'll be quite handy, actually. Not really this army here. Not a huge number, a couple of Pandors. Pandors, but anyway. Anyway, I'm going to end the turn and we'll see, see what goes on. Yeah, still stealing technology. So the only mistake in this episode has been giving away those ships. Well, I captured them and they took the bunny rather than held on to them. Okay, something happened there. Someone suffered a bit of a siege situation or something, or... Okay. 
rake East Prussia. Let's have a look. Where has he propagated here? So we need we need good intelligence, so we're gonna throw him out to here. Right, so that army was there. The army was there, so we need to we need to take this out this turn. Um has it got fortifications? I believe it has actually. No, actually I don't think it has. I'm not really sure. Is that a fortification? We'll soon see. We can actually do the business. Set them up fortifications. God damn it. Whoa. Yeah, so we've almost got a Russian stack that's going to assist now. 4,000, God. Plus three, that's 7,000. And they've got grenadiers in there. Plus, woof, this is going to be a big battle, actually. Continue the siege at the moment. We'll come back to that. <laughs> okay, well, he hasn't actually really moved those guys up, has he? Port blockaded. Who's blockading my ports? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I expected that. We've got Wedge, Power Loom, Improved Great Shot, so we'll have a look at that. Wedge, Power Loom, Great Shot. Well, we're not really... Do you want Improved Great Shot? Maybe. I don't think... Is, is there anything else I can actually get? I don't think there is until we build a modern university. And we're kind of up to strength on these things. We need to do that for steam powered. Mm, it would be nice to get that and then we can get steam engine. Um, we certainly don't want that. We'll go for that. Okay. Can you put an agent to break? There was an agent, wasn't there, in Alsace? Again, let's throw him that way. Okay, so that's all the all the agents. Right, let's go to North America first. Okay, I think we're gonna deliver these guys to here. This is quite a relief actually, you won't believe it. I've really been sweating that the Pueblo Nations were just gonna turn up. Bang, let's get those guys in there. Yes, that's better. Right, let's go up here, collect these these two guys. I think it's always better if they go from a port. I think they, they don't lose so much of their um, movement. On board, can we reach? Can we reach? Oh, we can. So let's go down here. We'll also leave that, that ship in there, actually. Can we get in? We can. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm a lot happy. Oh, not quite. I'm a lot happier about that. Do we have fortifications? We don't. Uh, construction. Army. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need at least, as I said before, we need some, quite a lot of, uh, so we've got two more, that's one, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, we'll do that. That'll give us our full set. Um, these guys, we want to come out, don't we? Waiting for them to come out, so we're not going to do anything here. Still beleaguering. Are we up to strength? I think we're now fully repaired need to repair anymore which is whilst we've been sitting there we've got stronger they've got weaker but he's got not a bad army there you know not bad he's got some some decent troops he's got infantry are very good bows are difficult to deal with in a fortress I think he's got a fortress there okay he's cavalry are rubbish to be honest and we have definitely have the best of the cavalry here you can see they're very experienced these are from Europe, these guys. Uh, okay, so that's that's that done. Right, I think we were going to have another naval battle. We're going to block these guys here. Uh, I think we're going to 
come down here with this army colonial militia I'm gonna have a look no, actually we will just do that and we'll leave that for the next episode so we'll fight this in the next episode. I'm not going to auto resolve because we'll lose a lot of ships to be honest so it simply isn't worth doing so we'll fight this in the next episode at least maybe we'll get one fifth rate and the sloop and the two Zbex will go after trade uh, maybe in the Ivory Coast okay thanks for your time watching hope you enjoyed the episode be speaking to you soon bye bye for now